Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. After the teardown of the powerful 100 watts basis blade power bank, we got another compact 30 watts power bank from basis. Today we're gonna take it apart to see what it looks like inside. The product name is printed at the bottom. It belongs to Admin 2 series, and the capacity is 10,000 million power. And the specs info in different languages are on the back and side. Open the box. It contains some documents, stickers, a short USB A to USB C cable, specially designed for power bank. and the power bank itself. The power bank adopts pure black matte surface which can reduce fingerprints. And the 30 watts is in the lower left corner, while the digital display is in the upper right corner, so you can get the remaining capacity at a glance. And it won't disrupt you when not in use. It's equipped with two USB-A ports and a USB-C port. All USB ports are orange, and the specs info of each port is next to them. There is also a power button to check the battery capacity. And all the specs info are printed on the button, model is PPADM2-10. The USB-C port can support up to 18 watts input and 30 watts output. Two USB-A ports can support up to 18 watts. It also passed the mainstream certification. The size of this power bank is about 111 by 54 by 26.5 millimeter. And the weight is about 211 grams. The ChargerLab Power ZKM002C shows the USB A1 supports FCB, AFC, QC3 Plus, and Apple 2.4M protocols. And the compatible protocol of the USB A2 is exactly the same as that of the USB A1. As for the USB C, it supports FCP, AFC, QC3.0, PD3.0, PPS, QC4 Plus, and Apple 2.4M charging protocols. And it also has four fixed PDOs of 5V, 3A, 9V, 3A, 12V, 2.5A, 15V, 2A, and two sets of PPS. After the brief introduction, let's go ahead and take it apart. This power bank can be easily taken apart. Just use the spudger to pry along the gap. and we can easily remove the top cover. There are some white silicon adhesives between the battery and top cover, and a blue thermal pad is on the internal PCB. The PCBA module is fixed by screws. Remove all the screws and blue thermal pad. Take out the battery pack and PCBA module. There is another blue thermal pad on the other side. Here is the opening for the segment display. Disconnect the red and black wires from PCB. A thermistor is on the side of the battery pack which can detect the temperature. The battery protection board is covered by barley paper and remove it. The USB-A port, segment display and power button are soldered on the front of the PCB module and another two USB ports, capacitors and an inductor are on the back. The Power Management SoC is from Indronic IP5389, which integrates the synchronous spark boost controller and multiple charging protocols. It can replace the traditional protocol IC and supports the segment display. Those two synchronous spark boost MOSFETs are from GoFort Semi. They can form an 8-bit circuit for spark boost and voltage conversion. 30 volts, 10 milliohm. The spark boost inductor is wrapped and insulated with heat shrinkable tube. Those two solid capacitors are from Barrel YA series, which are used for input and output filtering of the bug boost circuit, respectively. 220 microfarad, 25 volts for each. Here is the VBUS MOSFET for USB-C board, marked with 7446. Those two VBUS MOSFETs for two USB-A are the same, marked with 7446. Here is the 188 segment display. From the side, we can see the USB-C board, power button, and two USB-A boards. The contacts of USB-A ports are widened for higher currents. Well, that's all components of this 30 watts basis power bank. It not only supports 30 watts output, but also 18 watts input. So it can fast charge your phone and some accessories with three USB ports. Its internal structure is relatively simple and neat. 
Okay, that's all for today's video. You can also click the link in the description to know more if you're interested. See you in the next video. Bye.